Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series on basic electronics. In this video, we will consider the concept of diode current equation. The relationship between the applied voltage and the diode current is exponential. Are you getting it? I said the relationship between the applied voltage and the diode current is exponential and is mathematically given by the equation that is called as the diode current equation. So what is that equation? The equation can be stated as ID that is the diode current which is equal to IS into bracket e to the power VD divided by eta into VT minus 1. So this is the equation of a diode current. This can be proved through the solid state physics. I said it can be demonstrated through the use of solid state physics and it is also known as Shockley's equation. So I said it can be demonstrated through solid state physics. So let me write the same thing. It can be demonstrated through solid state physics and this equation is known as the Shockley's equation. Very famous uh, uh, equation that is known as the Shockley's equation. It is known as Shockley's equation. But the derivation of this equation is out of scope. What we have to do is we have to understand all the terminologies that are involved in this equation and we must be able to solve any given numerical on this. That is the task uh, at hand now. I said uh, the demonstration is out of scope. What we have to do is we have to understand all the terminologies that are involved uh, in this expression. So now first uh, thing is I must know what is ID. So let me write all the terminologies involved over here. ID is the diode current. ID I would call this as the diode current. And what must be IS? IS is the reverse saturation current. So let me write the same thing. IS is reverse saturation current. So why it is called a saturation current? This current that is uh, present during the reverse biased condition and even though I increase the voltage, the current is going to remain same uh, till some limit. That hence I call it as saturation current. It is indeed, even though I increase the voltage, current is not going to increase any further. It is going to remain uh, constant, hence it is known as uh, saturation current because it is already saturated. That is called as reverse saturation current. That is IS. Then we have got uh, VD. VD is nothing but the applied forward bias voltage. So I would write applied forward applied forward bias voltage across the diode. That is nothing but VD. Then I have got eta. Eta is nothing but I would call this as ideality factor. Ideality factor. So this depends on the physical construction. It is ideality factor which depends on the physical construction. So let me write the same thing. Depends on physical construction. So what is the value of this? So it has got eta is equal to 1. Eta is equal to 1 if it is made up of germanium if the diode is made up of germanium and eta is equal to 2 if the diode is made up of silicon. So this is important. Uh, I said the eta is equal to 1 for germanium and it is uh, 2 for silicon if the diode is made up of these kind of materials. And then we have left with the last parameter that is uh, Vt. So let me also consider uh, that factor Vt. Vt we call this as a thermal voltage. Vt we call this as thermal voltage. So what must be the value of Vt? So Vt I can write it as Vt is equal to K into T divided by Q. So what must be K? K is the Boltzmann constant. We all know these things. So let me write again K is Boltzmann, Boltzmann constant. K 
के इज नथिंग बट द बोल्समन कॉन्स्टेंट सो वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस बोल्समन कॉन्स्टेंट वी नो दिस इट इज वन पॉइंट थ्री एट इन टू टेन टू द पावर माइनस ट्वेंटी थ्री इट इज वन पॉइंट थ्री एट इन टू टेन टू द पावर माइनस ट्वेंटी थ्री जाउल पर कैलविन सो यूनिट ऑल्सो वी मस्ट बी अवेयर ऑफ एंड वट मस्ट बी टी टी इज द ऑपरेटिंग टेम्परेचर विच इज एक्सप्रेस इन कैलविन दिस साइकल कॉल इट एज एब्जोल्यूट टेम्परेचर इन कैलविन लेट मी राइट दिस टी इज इक्वल टू एब्जोल्यूट टेम्परेचर unit is in kelvin so what is the value of that equal to it is uh, 273 273 plus the temperature in degree celsius the temperature can be given straight away in kelvin or it might it might have given in terms of uh, celsius normally it will be given in terms of celsius in that case i have to add 273 to that so that i will get the absolute temperature which is expressed in kelvin and uh, q what must be q q is the magnitude of electronic charge so this is magnitude of electronic charge and the value of this also we must be aware of which is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 so this unit also we must be aware of 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 the value of electronic charge that is q we must be aware of this so this is all about the diode current equation i said the equation is this id equal to is into e to the power vd divided by eta into vt minus 1 I said that this can be proved using solid state uh, physics but the proof is not the scope here we must be aware of all the terminologies involved I hope uh, I am clear here if there are any doubts please let me know them on to the comment section and I would definitely address those doubts meanwhile subscribe to our channel ng classes for more videos on diode current uh, for more videos on uh, basic electronics in the videos to come we'll consider a few numericals on diode current equation till then thank you everyone for watching